Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about measurement of standard electrode potential. You can see the table over here. The standard electrode potential of some electrodes are given over there. How did we calculate them? To calculate the standard electrode potential of any electrode, we need to couple it with a reference electrode. That reference electrode may either be SHE that is standard hydrogen electrode or calomel electrode about which I have already explained in my previous videos. But the numerical values are calculated by some mathematical rule. How did you calculate them? In this video, we are going to understand everything about that. So let's start. To measure the electrode potential of any cell, first of all, we need to make the half cell. Half cell. To make that, the metal or the electrode is dipped in 1 amp metal salt solution. Metal salt solution. So, this gives us the half cell. The cell notation may be like this M, M. N plus or M N plus M. This is for oxidation half, oxidation half, and this is for reduction half, reduction half. So after making after making the half cell, we need to couple it with a reference electrode. Example standard hydrogen electrode SHE whose electrode potential is known value then we need to compare the value simply what we do we use a potentiometer potentiometer to get the value of the electrode potential of the cell electrode potential of the cell and after Finding the value of the electrode potential of the cell, we can easily find out the value of any half cell. That is the value of electrode potential of the experimental electrode. So to understand properly, let's find out the standard electrode potential of zinc electrode and copper electrode one by one. To find out the value of standard electrode potential of a zinc electrode, the zinc metal is dipped in 1 amp solution of zinc sulphate and it is coupled with standard hydrogen electrode to find the value of standard electrode potential of zinc electrode. Let me draw the diagram. First of all, we need to draw the zinc electrode. To draw the zinc electrode, there is this zinc metal. This is zinc and it is dipped in 1 m zinc sulfate solution right and in the right side there is this standard hydrogen electrode in the standard hydrogen electrode we know there is a glass tube like this right and that glass tube contains a platinum wire and this is the this is the platinum foil attached to the platinum wire okay and it is further kept in a mercury jacket like this yes it is like this and there is this inlet of hydrogen gas and uh, this two wire are connected through a potentiometer 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 oh sorry potentiometer helps us to find out the electrode potential of the total cell and they are further connected by a salt bridge okay and this standard hydrogen electron electrode consists of 1 m hcl solution 1 m hcl solution from this Pure hydrogen gas at one atmospheric pressure is constantly bubbled and this is the platinum wire and this one is platinum foil, platinum foil and this is here, this is salt bridge. Okay, so this is the complete diagram of the coupling of zinc electrode and hydrogen electrode. So this is figure 
कपलिंग ऑफ जिंक इलेक्ट्रोड एंड स्टैंडर्ड हाइड्रोजन इलेक्ट्रोड ओके here you can see that the zinc electrode is kept in left side and standard hydrogen electrode is kept in right side there is a reason for that zinc has higher tendency of losing electrode electrons so it will lose electrons faster than hydrogen so it will behave as the positive terminal sorry negative terminal of the battery and this will behave as the positive terminal of the battery negative terminal means what it is the anodic part of the cell right and positive terminal means what it is the cathodic part of the cell cathodic part of the cell here oxidation reaction will happen here reduction reaction will happen this cell is called oxidation half and this cell is called reduction half so this is the complete diagram of the coupling of zinc electrode and standard hydrogen electrode and by experiment the value of the the total standard electrode potential of this whole cell is found to be 0.76 volt the value the value of e not cell is found to be 0.76 volt here this e not means this represents standard condition standard condition means at 25 degree celsius and in 1 amp solution so there is a formula we can write we can write e not cell is equal to what e not right right means in place of this you can write cathode as well e not left and let's find out the values in place of e not cell we can put 0.76 volt is equal to e not right right means uh, sh the value of sh is standard electrode potential is 0 minus e not left right therefore e not in place of left what we can write zinc is converting into zn2 plus will be equal to minus 0.76 volt right so this is the standard electrode potential of the zinc electrode therefore the standard electrode potential of zinc is minus 0.76 volt here the negative sign indicates that this is the reduction potential of it okay look at here this uh, this cell undergoes oxidation reaction and sh undergoes reduction reaction if the value of e cell came to be positive then this would be a positive value and this would be the negative value but here we are getting negative value so in terms uh, simply we can say that as this is oxidation half then this is the reduction potential therefore minus 0.76 volt is the reduction potential reduction potential of the cell let's understand this one more time here zinc electrode behaves as oxidation half then if it was positive it would be oxidation potential but it is coming negative so uh, oxidation potential and reduction potential are completely opposite in sign but they have the same numerical value here it has negative sign that means it is oxidation value but we are writing in negative so it is the reduction potential for this case okay now here we did this much but we need to write the cell notation for this overall process as well the cell notation the cell notation for this overall process will be written as in the oxidation half zinc in solid form is converting to zinc ion zn2 plus in aqueous form whose concentration is 1 m as we are using salt bridge so double vertical line will be over here right and in that case in reduction half first of all h plus that is in aqueous form and 1 m solution will convert to hydrogen gas right hydrogen gas and 
it will happen in presence of platinum because without platinum the hydrogen gas will not be adsorbed on some material and the reaction would not be successful so this is the seal notation for this overall process that is the coupling of zinc electrode and standard hydrogen electrode and by this calculation by this formula we calculated the value of the standard reduction potential of zinc electrode to be minus 0.76 volt so this is how we calculate the value of standard electrode potential of any electrode if it is behaving at the oxidation half now let's see the, how to calculate the standard electrode potential of a copper electrode to find out the standard electrode potential of copper electrode the copper metal is dipped in 1 amp solution of copper sulfate and it is coupled with standard hydrogen electrode the diagram is like this so in this case in the left side there will be the standard hydrogen electrode like this this is the beaker and there is a platinum wire platinum foil is attached to it and it will come like this and there is an inlet of hydrogen gas as well there is an inlet of hydrogen gas as well and in the right side there will be the copper electrode the copper electrode has a beaker in which the copper metal is dipped in a solution and here in left side as well it will be dipped in a solution and they are connected by a salt bridge as well as they are connected by an external circuit like this through a potentiometer potentiometer so this is the complete diagram let's level it here hydrogen gas will go in for the bubbling at one atmospheric pressure this is the pure hydrogen gas okay this is platinum wire and this is platinum foil platinum foil this solution is 1m hydrochloric acid solution this is the salt bridge similarly in the right side this is copper metal copper metal this is 1m copper sulfate solution and this figure is the coupling of coupling of copper electrode and and standard hydrogen electrode so this is the complete diagram of the coupling of standard hydrogen electrode and the copper electrode here what do we see there is this standard hydrogen electrode in the left side and the copper electrode in the right side there is a reason for that the electron re releasing capacity or the tendency to lose electron of hydrogen is greater than that of copper so hydrogen will lose electrons easily so it will behave as the oxidation half there will be the oxidation reaction and oxidation half is always made in the left side and the reduction half is always made in the right side so this is the complete diagram that happens and by using the potentiometer we can find out the value of electrode potential of the overall cell the electrode potential of the cell that is the standard electrode potential of the cell is calculated to be 0.34 volt plus 0.34 volt now as we have the formula e naught cell will be written as how much e naught right minus e naught left this is the formula to calculate the value of e cell okay let's put the values in pl this place we can put 0.34 volt is equal to e naught right in right side there is copper electrode whose value we need to calculate so we will write cu2 plus cu minus in this place we can put 0 because the electrode potential of standard hydrogen electrode is 0 if the, we take this value this side this will be e naught cu2 plus cu is equal to plus 0.34 volt 
So this is the value of standard electrode potential of the copper electrode. Here we are getting a positive value that indicates that this is the reduction half. Okay, if the cell is behaving at the reduction half, and if we get the positive value, then obviously that is reduction potential. Okay, if we got negative value, then it would be oxidation potential. So therefore, the reduction, the reduction. Potential of copper electrode, copper electrode is my sorry plus zero point three four volt. This much. Now, as we are coupling two electrodes, then there will be a cell notation for this overall process. Cell notation will be given as see as. Uh, SH is behaving as the oxidation half, so it will be written first in presence of platinum. Hydrogen gas will convert to H plus, that is hydrogen ion. This is in aqueous form at one m concentration, and there should be a double vertical line because salt bridge is being used over there. And in the right side, Cu two plus in aqueous form. At one m concentration will convert to Cu solid. So this is the cell notation for this overall process. That is the coupling of standard hydrogen electrode and copper electrode, and the value of standard reduction potential or the standard electrode potential of the copper electrode is found to be 0.34 volt. I hope you understood how we calculate the value of standard electrode potential of different cell by using this calculation method. That's all in this video. I hope you understood everything about this video. If you like the video, please share this video as much as you can. And thank you for watching the video.